thanks for tuning in. A uh, little change of plans here. I realized in editing that I completely forgot to talk about the SDK manager, so I'm going to go over that uh, briefly for you guys. And then, honestly, I'm just going to wrap up this season. Uh, hopefully, you can kind of, kind of get the idea that I'm trying to go for here as far as how I'm going to structure the channel. I'd like to make it um, more so like a TV series than uh, a movie. Uh, I found that a lot of Android content was, uh, you know, hours long. Um, and that's just really difficult to digest in my opinion. So I'd like to keep it to uh, 7 to 20 minute videos. Uh, seasons that kind of within each season uh, linearly progress from video to video. And then season to season uh, also have that linear progression. So, uh, you know, you stick through a few seasons and you should be able to have everything you need, you know, to either get started or enhance a certain area of uh, your Android development skills uh, or knowledge um, and so on. So uh, this is kind of season zero, just laying the groundwork for what we would need to do moving forward. And uh, I believe the next season I'm thinking to target uh, some layout based stuff. So we'll really try to dive in there. Uh, walking into some code where appropriate, but I do think that it's super important to uh, first have this understanding of what a layout is, uh, how things are uh, on the screen, how things react to one another, etc. Because then when we get into the code, and I guess potentially the more fun part of things, um, you know, hopefully you won't be lost at that point and you'll have a good understanding of, uh, you know, what's going on behind the scenes or what's going on in a different area of the application. So, um, you know, I don't want to dive too, too much into it, but you can see here uh, when looking at an XML file, that is what the, that is the language that the layouts are um, written in. You can see this is kind of the, the view that you get here. There's a whole lot going on here, to be honest, uh, but this is what they call the design view. Um, there is the split view, which is probably my favorite one, where you actually can see the code and then uh, a little preview at the same time, and then also the code, which is just strictly the code. Um, I don't use this one that often, to be completely honest, but uh, I will actually kind of go back to it, um, because once you know what you're doing, actually modifying the text is... Uh, probably the fastest and easiest way to build a layout in my opinion uh, but to be a little bit more beginner friendly and also for me to revisit this this view because honestly they've done so 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 much to this area since I've left it um, we'll kind of I'll come back to it and we'll we'll go on that learning journey together a little bit but um, like I said we'll dive further into that in the next season which will actually just be the next episode but SDK manager that I brought up before. Um, so this will show you the different versions of Android, both, I guess, the uh, numerical value for them and then also what, uh, I don't know what the, what the word is for this one, but, you know, like the outward facing um, branding of that particular uh, Android version. So, uh, people talk about them interchangeably, but I like to use the numbers a little bit more. It just makes more sense to me. Um, and then there's also the API level that corresponds to these versions. So, um, a good amount to know here, like, you know, 21 is 5, and what we set ours at 26 is 8, and the newest 130 is, is Android 11, at least at the time of this video, etc. Um, so you can see on the side here the, the status, not installed, partially installed, update available. Uh, I think those are really the only options there. Um, but let's say for whatever reason you either needed to install an SDK uh, because maybe your project wasn't building or you want to update um, you know, your project from a particular version to a new version you would need to actually grab the SDK and install it before you before you do that um, so that the everything can kind of build. So this is the SDK platforms. They also have the SDK tools, um, which we'll dive into a little bit later. 
but um, this is also kind of a part of the whole bundle here of um, uh, building and creating an application at a particular level. Um, so pretty straightforward stuff here. It looks like uh, looks like I have an, avail an update available here, so maybe I could update it, but um, I'm not going to go through it right now. You, uh, you should be able to kind of get where I'm going with this, but let's just say we wanted to download the newest one. Um, we can You can actually check multiple as well, and they'll all happen, but just for brevity, let's do this. Um, it'll tell you what will be involved, uh, how much storage it'll take up, Okay, 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 and it'll actually start. So this is usually pretty quick. Um, again, if it's too long, I'll, I'll kind of do some stuff in editing, but looks like it's moving along pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, not, not too, too much to this. Uh, hopefully, when you downloaded Android Studio, it downloaded one of them for you, one of these platform tools. Um, I guess finish closes that entire thing, but if we open it back up, you'll see that you now have, have this as well installed at the latest version of it. Um, so you're kind of up to date. Uh, yeah, I guess you could do show package details and it kind of gives you a bit more um, information and a further breakdown of exactly what you're installing. And in this case, you know, what has updates available within this, uh, this platform. So um in case you need to get here you uh you can very easily either get in here through the settings um window or there's a particular like shortcut um opening the settings though i'm gonna i'm on mac so i believe those settings are command comma yeah uh, that'll bring up this just general preferences and you can see in here there's a whole lot of stuff that's available uh, for you to kind of fool around with, uh, modify as you may wish. You can actually export and import settings into this. So you, if you have a particular code style, you know, you can kind of do something like that. So let's see, yeah, code style. Um, so there's a few things that you can, there's a default and then what's stored in the project. Um, and then let's see, I forget how to actually install. Maybe it's set from... Oh, interesting. The defaults there. Uh, there we go. So you could export them to a particular file, and then you can actually import them as well. Um, uh, so if you have, let's say, a different a different tool in the uh, JetBrains toolbox here, like IntelliJ or something like that, that you uh, were using for Java or some particular code style, or maybe even just uh, overarching theme on your IDE, um, you can just export that and import that and, uh, and you'll be good to go. So it's all familiar, but the reason I opened this originally was for the um, SDK. So you can kind of get in appearance and behavior, system settings, Android SDK, and you're, and you're back to where you were before. So um, hopefully you didn't run into too many issues with that, but know the SDK manager is there and easy enough for you to uh, get to download some new versions of uh, keep things updated, etc. So um, thanks for tuning in again, as always, uh, you know, channel's still extremely young. So any, uh, any interaction with the content there, likes, comments, subscribe, uh, would be much appreciated. And, um, you know, you can kind of say you were there since day one. So with that, uh, much appreciated to even be watching this. And uh, hopefully you've learned something in season zero. If you didn't have Android Studio and now you do and you have an emulator running an app, like that's a, you know, uh, that's a pretty big step. It's a pretty big difference from, uh, from where you were, you know, a few days ago. So um, anyway, I uh, hope you've been enjoying it. Season one will be kicking off uh, soon, either the next video, whenever I can get to it. Um, and we will dive deeper into layouts, into views themselves, what they actually mean, what they share, what their differences are, etc. And really start making some headway on maybe building a UI and then uh, referencing that UI in code and modifying it um, however, however we want. So there's a whole lot that's about to 
about to kick off. So hope hope to see you in the next one.